Against implied timekeeping, this is a video that I'm calling Hats Off to Sandy McKee and Gaylord Birch. Uh, I want to give them a special tribute in this video because they happen to have played in the same band and they are now both deceased. Now these two drummers uh, were around from 1969 when Sandy McKee played in the band Cold Blood to around 1975. The band is still together but the two albums I want those of you who are into looking back on great drummers in history. Sandy McKee played from uh, 1969 to 1972 uh, the drums for this band, Cold Blood. And he's on two albums, but the album I want you to key in on is Sisyphus, the Greek god, Sisyphus. And there's one track that Sandy made really famous called Shop Talk. I want those drummers uh, who are younger to put that track on because Sandy is playing just some of the most insane riffs I've ever heard. When I was a young kid and I listened to that, my teacher told me, listen to this. It just knocked me clear back. I, I knew I was listening to true greatness. And what's interesting about Sandy McKee is Sandy was one of those drummers who played traditional grip and he played the hi-hat lower than the snare, uh, like this. So normally you would play like this. Sandy played like this. So clearly, uh, Drummers Against Implied Timekeeping, um, we would have had to uh, talk to him about that. But all joking aside, uh, he comes up with some of the greatest riffs. Um, in my cycle riffs in rock, I can't even play it to this day, exactly what he's doing on that uh, drum solo. But all through the track shop talk. I want you to listen to it, all right? That's Sandy McKee, the band is Cold Blood, the album is Sisyphus, and uh, the track is Shop Talk. Please listen to it. Uh, after Sandy left the band, another drummer took over, and the guy's name was Gaylord Birch. And Gaylord was another uh, not so much a technician, but he had great finesse, and he was a tasteful player. And I want to give special uh, hats off to him as well, because he's on the album by Cold Blood called Thriller. And he has a track called I Love You. And it is as smooth a track as you're going to get. So uh, listen to that one. He also plays some great tasty things on, on the Stevie Wonder song, You Are the Sunshine of My Life. So I want you to listen to that as well. Gaylord was just a very underrated player. And I want younger drummers to go back and listen to these guys. It is already 40 plus years. And these men who play drums in these bands uh, need to have their due. And uh, the thing that is interesting is at the time that they were playing, a lot of drummers who were schooled and, you know, were knowing what's going on in the scene acknowledged their greatness. So it wasn't as if they're completely obscure. But uh, as time goes on and uh, different bands come in, I just want their legacy uh, cemented with a hats off. Uh, and that's why I'm doing this video. So if you have any questions about Sandy McKee or Gaylord Birch, feel free to ask me. I'm on twitter.com forward slash drummers against, facebook.com forward slash drummers against implied timekeeping. Those of you who are coming into my channel for the first time, welcome. I invite you to go through my entire catalog of videos to understand the things that I'm teaching and what I'm trying to promote. So uh, if you like what you're seeing, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel. Your subscription is the support that I need to continue and I always appreciate that. And you guys who have uh, been with me from the beginning, I will have a lot of things coming up that are very technically challenging. But I want you to know the past in order to know where we're going in the future. So please know these drummers that I'm telling you about. All right? So let me know what you think. Keep me posted. This is a hats off to Sandy McKee and Gaylord Birch. Take care.